In conclusion, not only is the Foucault pendulum a trick, it doesn't even debunk the flat earth. What it does debunk is the spinning ball earth. Well, as my thumbnail suggests, I'm doing a video on the Foucault pendulum and how that's going to wreck the ball earth. This is a twofer. I'm doing two things. I'm going to debunk the Foucault pendulum and I'm going to debunk the spinning ball earth. Okay, actually, I'm going to use the Foucault pendulum to debunk the spinning ball. First, I need to give you a little background, so hang tight. So this is a earth that I made. It has a bullseye. I'm going to put a drone on the bullseye. Now see the dark blue circle? That's about 45 degrees north latitude. All right, that's the curve. You see the turn? All right, the light blue lines are great circles. That is a course of a straight line. A great circle is a straight line on a sphere, right? If you're following the contour of the sphere. On the surface of the sphere, it's a straight line called a great circle. That's the light blue lines. The orange line is also a great circle, and that's the equator. And the equator is the only latitude line that you would traverse in a straight line. That's the only place as far as the latitudes that you do that. All longitudes are also great circles. And a great circle is the biggest circle you can draw on a sphere. You cannot have two parallel great circles. They all intersect one another. The other latitude lines, all other latitudes, once you leave the equator, are called small circles or parallels. You've heard of that, right? So this would be the 45th parallel. So the ground is, let's say it's rotating about 500 miles per hour. I'm just going to show you what the drone looks like sitting on the ground, and we're going to rotate. Okay, as you can see, the drone was sitting on the ground and just followed the contour of the Earth, and just followed the turn. 45 degrees north latitude is a turn. Remember, if the only latitude line that's a great circle is the equator, and that's the only circle that you would traverse in a straight line. All of the small circles then would be what? Turns. Correct. Now the confusing thing is you go from a Ferris wheel type of motion on the equator to a merry-go-round. You kind of morph into it. As you move up, it starts to have less of a down and around following the curvature and starts to turn, right? It's like a convex instead of a flat merry-go-round surface, it's convex, but it still is forcing you to turn, right? And so my argument is that all water, air, everything, and especially like a hovering drone, will in fact move to the equator. It'll move in a straight line because although it's circling at 500 miles per hour, it's turning at 500 miles per hour, once it lifts off the ground, Newton's first law of motion takes over and it's going to shoot off in a straight line because it no longer has the centripetal force. It's no longer in contact with the ground, which is, was forcing it to turn as it sat on the ground. Now it's up, and it shoots off in a straight line, and it'll head to the equator. And for these ball earth brainiacs out there that want to argue, how, how would you hover the helicopter? Or how would you hover the drone? Blah, blah, blah. They, they, they're trying to argue a straw man. So this drone in this video does, has a max speed of 15 miles per hour. Okay, so go ahead and just keep the drone over the spot that you're lifting off the ground. In this case, it has a bullseye, right? Keep the drone over that spot. Guess what? You won't be able to do it within a very short period of time. Now, remember, it's rotating at 500 miles per hour. So it's forcing the ground. Everything's being forced. As long as you're on the ground, you have friction and you're being forced to turn with the ground. But if you raise up off the ground, you hover up. Now, Newton's first law of motion takes over, okay? An object at rest will tend to stay at rest. That would be the drone sitting on the ground. It's doing a 500 mile per hour turn at 45 degrees north latitude. And from our perspective on the turning platform, the Earth, the rotating Earth, it would be at rest. But an object in motion will tend to stay in motion at a constant speed and in a straight line, unless there's a force like a centripetal force, which is required to make something turn. And one other experiment we can do to show that a force inward 
is required to keep the ball moving in a circular path is to, at some point, as the ball is rolling around there, I'll just pick up the ring and watch what happens to the ball. Demonstrating that a centripetal force or an inward force is required to keep an object moving in a circular path. Well, there is no centripetal force once you raise up off the ground, when you hover up off the ground. While you're on the ground, the sphere itself and friction are the centripetal force. And yes, gravity brings you into contact with the ground. True, that creates the friction. But once you raise up off the ground, you no longer have friction. So gravity's not at play anymore. Gravity's actually going to take you in a great circle to the equator. So the drone, once it lifts off, you can see it's going in a straight line, and the ground is turning to the left. And it's an exponential turn. You can see within a few hours, the bullseye would be turning perpendicular to your path on your straight path to the equator, the drone's straight path to the equator. The ground is now moving dead north of you. You're heading to the southeast, and it's heading northeast. And, but as it keeps turning, it turns more to the north. At some point, it's moving perpendicular at 500 miles per hour sideways from you, and the drone only does 15. So you couldn't even keep up with it. So this is 100% accurate. So I don't want to hear, oh, how are you going to hover it, p -Bain? or whatever. Drone. I had a toy drone one time, and you can just hover it, all right, with your controls, and you hover it and just stay over the spot that you raised off the ground. And it would have to move to the equator, something we do not see. This does not happen. Okay? In realityville, this never happens. Millions of drones flown all over the world. This does not happen. But what does happen, like when you swing in a rock on the end of a string, the rock will circle. So the centripetal force is the string. The string is causing it, and your hand motion, you're, you're circling it, you're making it circle. That's all part of the centripetal force and the friction, you could say. That's really severe friction with the string attached to the rock, right? It's tied onto the rock. But if that breaks, does the rock keep circling around your head? No. The rock shoots off in a straight line. Now, Newton's law. So the momentum, the 500 mile per hour momentum of the drone, once it lifts off the ground, it no longer is tethered like the rock on the end of the string, and it will fly off in a straight line as per Newton's law, if this were real. Okay, so now how does the Foucault pendulum debunk the spinning ball Earth? And how does all of it then debunk the Foucault pendulum? All right, well, with the pendulum, when you're watching it, you're seeing the pendulum work its way back and forth, and it goes around, you know, let's say, depending on where they set it up, in a 24-hour period, if you put it at the North Pole, and it'll go around in 24 hours, right? Knocking all the little pegs down. You've seen Foucault pendulum. What that's telling you is we're on the reference frame that's actually moving. We're on the, the rotating Earth. But because we're on the rotating Earth, we don't see the Earth rotating. So we see the Foucault pendulum rotating. Now, here's a little animation I made. Now, this is from the reference frame of the Foucault pendulum. Now you can see the Earth turning, right? That's the platform underneath it is rotating. So this busts the ball Earth because the drone would have to do this. This means that when the, the pendulum is swinging in free space, it's independent of the ground. The ground is not forcing it to turn once it's lifted off, right? Now, if you laid the pendulum on the ground, it would just turn with the Earth like the drone when it's sitting on the bullseye. But once it lifts off, now it's like swinging in free space. While it's on the ground, it's being forced to turn, but now it's no longer forced to turn. That 500 mile an hour circular turning momentum turns into straight line momentum, and it goes to the equator. So the Foucault pendulum's a fraud. It's fake. It's just like the guys at the equator with the golden sinks and the, you know, showing you how the water rotates each direction. It's a trick. Let's keep going. Here's a video experiment. This, they put a sink right on top of the equator. This is in Ecuador. Anybody can go down there. They drew a line on the concrete right there behind the person. This is the equator. They're going to pour water in the sink and let it drain on the equator. <coughs> this is the dumb. 
<clears throat> now watch. Especially because you're being taken for a fool here. You are being conned. This guy is going to trick you. Now look at the lips. Straight down. Straight down. Straight down. Now, notice this. Let me back that up for a second. Notice that when he walks up, the water's already been sitting. You don't see him pour the water in. They're going to pour water in the sink. Well, they already poured the water in, Kent. On the equator. <clears throat> okay. So it's been sitting. Straight down. Straight down. Okay. Okay. Now let's pick up the sink. Now that's on the equator line. Go south of the equator. 15 feet. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ken, look at that look you're giving them people in the room. Kind of like, oh, child, we got them now. Plug the sink, fill it with water, let it stabilize a minute. Let's stabilize a minute. Didn't look like he let it stabilize too long. Pull the plug, drop some leaves in. Why does it swirl south of the equator and not swirl on the equator? Uh, here's where I'm going to use one of my favorite Kent Hovindisms. Kent, I may have been born at night, but it wasn't last night. Okay, well here's where I'm going to give it away. Ready, gang? Because he poured the water and he shifted the bucket to create a current, a clockwise current there, Mr. Hovind. It's called the Coriolis effect. No, it's not. It's called being duped, dummy. Let's go back. Now, as he pours in, he's going to finish this off. The bucket's going to shift this way, creating this current right cheer. Check it out. Plug the sink. Fill it, it with goes. water. Shift. Let it stabilize a minute. Created this kind of current. You can see the bubbles already moving that way. Pull the plug. Drop some leaves in. I mean, you got to be an idiot to fall for this, Kent. Helped it with a little clockwise twist of the hand. Why does it swirl south of the equator and not swirl on the <laughs> like equator? I said, because you're a dummy. Called the Coriolis effect. No, it's called dum dum effect. Because the Earth is spinning. Now let's Moron, take it north the Earth of the is equator, flat and, feet away and it's from not the moving. No motion to the Earth. You can Google. I forget the name of this thing, but just Google. Does water swirl north or south of the equator? It comes up with a bunch of video clips of this kind of stuff. And to use another Kent Hovenism, Kent. Are you this dumb, or are you being dumb on purpose? Okay, we're going to... Okay, he's filling the bucket again. And watch him shift the bucket to his right, and that's going to make the water current go counterclockwise. Fill the sink with water. Filling it. <laughs> now it's the shift to the right. You see that? Before he shifted to the left, now he's shifting to the right, and he's creating a counterclockwise rotation, or current. It's going to swirl the other direction. I promise you. Yeah, no kidding. No joke, Mr. Hovind. And here's another Kent Hovindism. Duh. Kent, he created the counterclockwise rotation with the way he poured the water in, Kent. Pull the plug. Oh. Up in the leaves. Run the leaves. And it swirls oh. counterclockwise <laughs> north of the equator. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so there's your trick. Can you not see that? All fake. If it's real, why do you got to fake everything? Why is everything fake? And this Foucault pendulum, just as a side, maybe they hook it to a 24-hour clock. They have like a military clock, 24 hours, in the ceiling, and all you see is the little peg. And you would never even notice it turning because it's turning one time in 24 hours. So they hook the pendulum to that, and that gives you your 24-hour rotation that looks like. It's, it's fake. Guaranteed. It's fake. Because if that were real, the catch-22 is, and, and why this is a twofer video, is the catch-22 is, if it is real, well then the drone's got to move to the equator and leave where you have it hovering over. That's going to eventually turn out from under it. We don't witness this. Doesn't happen. So, there you go. Busted. And uh, more to come. Hope you enjoyed that. If I think of anything else, I'll put it in. Okay. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.